Jeffrey finally locked in a few years ago. Although he lived his teenage years like a loser, after years of discipline, willpower, and monk mm. mode, Jeffrey was able to achieve every goal that he had. But then that's when the women came. That's when the parties came. That's when the traveling came. The habits that built up Jeffrey's success were no longer in his daily routine. Because of that, he fell off. Adonis. Adonis was able to not only become successful, but to keep it too. For he knew that discipline was not just the route to the rewards of life that he wanted, but it was the path in itself. It was never about acquiring resources, money, status or fame. It was about living day to day as your best, most disciplined self. That's why Adonis is so fulfilled. In the two stories that I've just told you about Jeffrey and Adonis, I am Jeffrey. I became disciplined for the first time in my life around four years ago. Trimmed my hair off. I had no dating apps, no Instagram, genuinely no Instagram, no Snapchat. I just worked. I used to run to the park, train there like calisthenics, like gymnastics. And then I would go to my garage where I had some dumbbells and a barbell and I'd just do like a raw bare bones workout. So a double workout there. And I would spend an hour, I promise you this is true. I'm telling you, like I used to meditate for one hour every day for longer than a year straight. Like it was just in my routine to wake up, 20 minutes meditation, go and train, come back, shower, 20 minutes meditation, eat, work, read, all the, like the self-improvement habits. And then 20 minutes, minutes before bedtime, I would do another meditation session. I would journal for like an hour a day, I would read. And that relentless discipline where I didn't hang out with friends, I didn't have sex for months, I didn't watch porn or anything like that. I promise you, zero scrolling on Instagram or TikTok. I didn't even have those apps on my phone for months. Two years living like that got me to around twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 per month. It got me to a few hundred thousand followers on YouTube. And I think I'm right in saying this. I deserve that. I deserve the success that I achieved in like 2022 when I started to get hundreds of thousands of followers and I hit 1 million subscribers because I really locked in for that. So if you're watching this and you want to become successful or you know you're going to become successful, let me just tell you about my mistake so that hopefully you can avoid the lesson. This isn't like a normal YouTube video where I'm not making this for views. In fact, this is going to be embarrassing as fuck. So I hope it doesn't get that many views. But if you are really like locked in, I don't just always want to talk to you about how to lock in, how to get the success. I want to preemptively tell you, okay, if you're on track to getting the success, here's what I wish someone told me before I had achieved it. It's all about discipline. I'm not talking about discipline to build the success. I'm talking about discipline to maintain it. Because if you believe at some point you will ease up on the discipline so that you can enjoy more of life, that's like a cancer. Like think about this for a second right? Be honest to yourself. Is your perception of success kind of like where you're locked in right now, but at some point you'll kind of ease up and be like a bit more of a degenerate. You'll fuck a few more girls, you'll party a bit more, you'll travel and stay in like the luxurious places more. Because if it is, you might be on a path to the rise and the fall as most people are. The people who achieve success and keep it are the ones who never really desire the watch or the fame or the girls in the first place. And they're not really even doing it for the success anyway. They're just disciplined people and they get like a sense of enjoyment and fun from the discipline. Like for example, showing up to the gym three times a day to train martial arts, like that already is the dream for them. You see the difference here, the guys who end up losing it all, which is what I feel like happened to me. I haven't lost it all. Like I, I think I've been able to like, you know, just about stay, not even like stay afloat. Like I've been able to still maintain like a solid, like, $80,000 months in my business. And like, it's still a good tight knit audience of guys who still like me and watch me. But I certainly could have been so much more successful had I heeded this advice earlier. Discipline is not just what builds the success. You need to stay disciplined once you've built it. Like that's the next game. If you think you're going to build a success, you're going to, you know, level up and get like nicer, attractive hair and the physique and the money and the clout. And that's when you'll start like, you know, being a more of a degenerate. That's when you'll start going to more parties. That's when you'll start enjoying yourself. Your mindset is messed up. And I urge you to just listen to this. What we need to do is create the belief in our mind that the discipline is the enjoyment of life. Because I will tell you
you right now. So here we're gonna get like unfiltered as fuck and I'm gonna start telling you about like fucking. So make sure your parents can't hear this, right? I'm gonna just tell you the complete and honest truth. I achieved every goal that I wanted by the time I was like 25. I was fucking new girls every single day. I was invited to parties and podcasts and social events. I moved to Thailand, to Dubai. I had like apartments and villas that cost over $10,000 a month. And I was living like this young, lavish lifestyle. I was like, you know, looking nice and I had like the physique and everything. I was enjoying the fruits of my labor. Imagine the season of life where I'm doing that, right? Imagine I'm waking up a little bit late, still going to the gym, fine. Cold approaching girls in the gym, coming back and just, you know, doing like a fake, like one hour of work, whatever, but like, you know, kind of brain fog, sleep deprived, not really pushing to the best of my ability. All of it's just getting ready for the nighttime where a girl is gonna come around and like suck my dick. And that's like the height of like the enjoyment of like, you know, the success, right? The seasons where I had that, the months where I indulged, I look back and I, I will tell you the genuine truth. They are not months which I deem as enjoyable or fulfilling. Like for yourself as well, right? You might not have like lived the sort of rock star, lavish lifestyle just yet. But think about the seasons where you did do more of the pleasurable, undisciplined actions. Like think about the week that you spent, whenever it was, playing video games, watching TV, eating junk food. You think that that week's gonna be fun, right? You think it's gonna be enjoyable, but you remember the last week where you were in like a rut. You remember it, right? It wasn't an enjoyable thing, but it's so weird because you're doing pleasurable activities. But you remember the last time that you jacked off like multiple times in a day. That should have been a day of so much pleasure and enjoyment because you were doing the bad habit that we always says was enjoyable. But if I ask you, how was that last day where you jacked off like three times? You're telling me it was awful. It was so annoying, embarrassing. That's so in, do you understand like the weird realization that I'm trying to give you here? Fun is not fun. That's a psyop. Like this idea that pleasure is fun is a complete and utter lie. And here's how you know what the truth is. Imagine the day where you did everything. The day where you checked off all the boxes in your habit tracker, you hit a really hard workout, you meditated, you journaled, you worked on the business or your studies. Imagine you had like such a disciplined day. That was a day of limited pleasure. That was a day where you didn't actually do that many fun habits. And yet, if I asked you how pleasurable and fun was that day, you'll tell me, oh, it was sick, bro. I got everything done. I did this. I recorded this video, which was an absolute banger. I studied and I feel very ready for the course and I had this massive workout. That's so, do you see how interesting that is? The day where you did none of the fun, bad habits, you would actually say was more fun. And I'm telling you, this is the truth. Like you need to get this into your mind. Do you see the realization here? I was in Bali a few months ago. I went looking good and everything, knowing, okay, I'm gonna like basically slay. I'm just gonna be a fuck boy here. I went for the first like one month that I was here, I was using like the dating apps and I was cold approaching and I was meeting woman after woman to the point that like, I remember like, I just had like the exact same routine of the same bar that I'd meet them. My assistant would book the, the sort of couch, which meant that we'd be sat right next to each other, drinking wine, okay, Brett, back to my place, like consistently. I was doing everything that I thought I wanted. So many young guys would be watching this thinking like, oh, that sounds awesome. And I wonder if you'll tell us the routine, right? There was so much pleasure during that time. But again, if you ask me, how was your life during that season? I'd tell you like, oh, I was actually pretty shit. And you'd be, why? Like, didn't you like have so much sex? And I'd be, yeah, but like, look, that's not what makes a good life. It's simply just about how disciplined you've been. This time around, like, so I left Bali a few months ago and then I came back recently. And this time I haven't been like that. This time I've been more focused. This time I've came in with more of an intention. Like I really want to get to the next level of my fitness. So I've been training kickboxing, like usually around two, two and a half hours per day. Training with the pro fighters, assuming that I'll have a fight in like three to six months, which I know I've kind of announced before and backed out. I hope this isn't one of those times, but I've been like training super, super fucking hard, right? And then I even go to the gym after that. So I've been training like three times a day. I've had very little time for like fun activities. What's interesting is if you asked me, has this trip been fun? I would tell you, fuck yeah. I've learned so much. I'm so proud of myself. I have so much respect for myself. And in fact, other people have noticed this as well. I was in the gym like maybe a week or two weeks ago and this guy comes up to me and he's like, oh, are you Hamza? Like, you know, he's a fan, okay? He's like a really nice guy. And then he goes. Then I see him come back to me and he's brought a girl with him and he says, oh yeah, she used to watch your videos. So she's like proper polite and you know, she's like smiling. She seems like really happy. And I'm just, you know, speaking to her. I'm genuinely like 
just being me, right? I'm not even trying to like change in any kind of way. And she just stops and she goes, you look so happy. I remember watching your videos and it's like your energy has just changed. Like you seem so happy and so fulfilled with life. And I was like, man, that's like, that's such a good compliment. And I am, I feel like I'm on the right path now. I'm not wasting my time. I'm not being a degenerate. I'm just working. I'm just grinding now. I'm really being more disciplined than I've been in a while. And you know, she seemed like happy for me. Then I end up not with her, but like with a different girl from the gym. I end up taking this different girl to the kickboxing gym with me. That's kind of like a wholesome little date, right? I just like take a girl. I'm going to teach her kickboxing and we're having a fun time. We're laughing and everything. And she said the same thing to me. She was like, you know what, Hamza, you seem so happy. She knew me from like a few months ago when I was in more of the pleasurable season of my life. And she seemed like, oh, you look like you're way more fulfilled with life right now. What's different about it? And I said like, yeah, I feel a lot more complete. I'm actually doing the discipline habits. So it's very interesting. The point that I'm trying to get to is we think that the fun, pleasurable, bad habits are how you get enjoyment in life. The reason why many of us grind and try to work hard in the physique or the looks maxing or the money is because we feel like we're setting up our future selves for more of that kind of pleasure. Like we looks max because we want our future self to have access to more sex. We make more money. So we want our future self to have access to more parties and social occasions, whatever. But I'm here to basically just cut that belief in half and tell you that the version of you, whether you've worked for it or not, that enjoys the success will actually have less enjoyment in his life than the version of you that stays disciplined forever. An example of this is Conor McGregor and Khabib. If you've seen their stories, like these two big MMA fighters, Conor McGregor was like the most famous MMA fighter, but he was also kind of like a loud mouth and also like the kind of guy who would enjoy his success. So when he started to get success, he started to like party, take drugs, get like really arrogant about himself. Whereas Khabib is like a Muslim, like strict. And basically they ended up having like a fight together, like an MMA fight for like the big championship belt. It's like one of the biggest fights, I think. And Khabib wins. Of course he does. Like you didn't need me to tell you that. Of course, the guy who stays disciplined is going to win compared to the guy who's partied a few times during the season. But what's more interesting is what happened afterwards, because they both became like icons of this sport. They both got tens of millions of followers on their social media. Conor McGregor seemed to have become like a degenerate in this clips of him in just like random clubs, like cheating on his wife. And he's, you know, he's just like partying with people who just like him for his fame and everything. And he just seems to be like a lost. It's like, you know, like a boy who's got access to man pleasure. And of course, no offense. Look, look, he's a strong guy. He beat the fuck out of me, of course. So I'm just like a random guy chatting shit about someone who's stronger than me and more successful or whatever. But you can sense the lack of fulfillment in a guy who's like that. You know, it's easy to say like, listen, oh, but you know, he's built the success of so fair enough, let him enjoy it. But you can just tell he's having less enjoyment in his life because the guy who needs enjoyment through stimulation and pleasure, through fleeting highs like sex and degeneracy and parties, that isn't a fulfilled guy. It just simply is not. Anyone who tells you like, oh, but you know, just enjoy the success and they need stimulation for that. They're not having real enjoyment in life. And then you see what happened with Khabib. So he gets offered like tens of millions or even a hundred million dollars to come back to the UFC, like to become a fighter again. But he retired and he's just kind of like living a wholesome life back at his home. That's what I assume anyway. He left undisputed, which meant like he never lost. So he has a clean track record. Like he won like 26 fights in a row, never lost one. You don't see clips of Khabib in, in parties, drinking. Now what's interesting, look, here we have one guy, Connor, who probably makes more money and he's enjoying himself more. He's going to parties and clubs and drinking and drugs. Then we have a guy, who's probably made less money from the sport, even though he was like more of the winner. He's not enjoying himself with the parties and drugs and drinking. But if you just saw one picture of each of them, like in the kind of environments where they've been spotted, you could tell who lives a more fulfilling life. So it's so interesting. People think like they'll build up the success and then, you know, start enjoying it. Just what if you start to visualize that you'll never stop the discipline? But secondly, also, we realized that we wouldn't want to just sit around and do nothing as we may have seen our grandparents live right? like, a boring life, but still want to have some work that feels purposeful. So we're going to have purposeful work that we want to work hard on for the rest of our lives, like up until we die. You can go ahead and try it yourself, right? You've had those seasons and perhaps you'll have more where you do fall off, where you're not as disciplined, where you start, you know, like you've got a good physique, so you start eating more junk food. You've got good mental health, so you start skipping the meditation. You've got good money, so you start spending it more. And just see how you feel during those periods. It's stimulating 
and to go buy stuff. It's stimulating to go like speak to a girl and to be a degenerate. Of course it is. But when you look back, you're not actually glad for those periods. Discipline is the only way to live life. It, it, it is the only way. It is the cornerstone of life. And so what is discipline? Discipline is doing the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. The top link in the description will take you to my self-improvement community, by the way, if you want to go join. Goodbye.